Sagittarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors, and lovely this is your What the Fuck weekly reading for the 21st to the 26th of September. Please keep in mind these are general readings, they are not going to resonate for everybody. The roles can be reversed. Please like, share, and subscribe for me, and welcome to everybody. Um, my returning people, my new people, and most of all, I want to welcome the cross watchers in. This is a safe place for you to be to come and have a look to see what's going on um, around somebody that you care about. Um, yeah, so welcome everybody. So let's get your first card out, what the current situation is, what started your what the fuck for Sagittarius plays. Oh, really Sagittarius? Okay. And then your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked. your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. So what can you do about this situation, lovelies? Oh gosh, that's what's out of your hands. the reconnecting to your true self and your outcome lovelies so sage wow what started your what the fuck is you've got the ace of chalices. I'm going to say for a lot of you, this is a new beginning. I think that some of you have fallen in love. And if you haven't, it's about to happen. I'm getting that your cup is spilling over. There is a love interest in your midst. But I'm getting for a lot of you, it's already happened. Because facing your fears and taking your power, power back, I'm getting that this has moved along very nicely. Thank you very much. You're actually offering this cup out. You've got the cup full up. You're offering it out. And in your wish fulfillment and your manifestation, you feel a bit stuck, darlings, about your movement, about looking out overseas, about where you're going to even settle down. But in the frame of mind that we've got at the moment with movement being stuck around the world, that could be playing a part in this but I'm kind of getting that you feel stuck at the moment with this um that will shift darlings it really will and I know that the three is a desire to either have something coming into you or going out to it but right now with the world the way it is it might just be better to be stuck on the dock rather than jump on that ship um and go into something that may be quite dangerous for you. Oh, I don't even know where that came from. Dangerous. Um, I'm kind of thinking that movement at the moment appears to be the most 
dangerous thing that we could be doing. I'm not saying it is, because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't believe what is going on is actually happening. It has happened personally to me, and I have to say that um, the less movement I do, the better I'm feeling about the whole situation. Um, and I know that is constraining me because I really need to be back in the States. I really need to be doing other things. But right now, I just feel it's right for me to be where I am. And I'm getting wherever you are, wherever you are, doesn't matter what shore you're standing on. It is better to be there where you know what your limitations are um, than it is to be on somebody else's shore and wonder what the fuck is going on. Um, so yeah, so your cup has done really nicely, you've moved it on nicely, bit stuck, but that's okay. In the light of what's happening, that is okay. Your movement, your journey, you have got a spiritual card. This is the Seven of Pentacles. This is about you making a choice about doing something that you love to make this money so that you can have stability in your home life and around your career and money. And what you can do about the situation, darlings, is you have sown seeds over many, many seasons. Just allow this harvest to come in, Sagittarius. It's going to be huge. Just allow it to come in naturally. It has already started for you. So, Sag, what's out of your hands? And yeah, do you know what? I'm not surprised. This nine of chalices... You have got this cup, you have given this cup out, you're a bit stuck and the universe is saying, don't worry, your wish fulfillment is safe, safe with us, we're holding it for you. You're not missing out by being still at the moment, you're not. Because they've got your future, they've got your desire, they've got your chalices and they are holding on to those for you. Because you so deserve these chalices, there's been hard work here lovelies, massive hard work with your pentacles and with your harvest you've done a lot of work towards what it is that you want and they're clearly saying we've got this for you don't think that this has passed you by don't think it hasn't happened it has happened it is happening it's going to happen but we've got it right now and we're holding it for you so to reconnect to your true self so as soon as i laid this down normally i get this is conflict between two people but as soon as i laid this down i kind of got that you've got a conflict within yourself about how you're going to do something um, and i'm getting that you're arguing with yourself you know what the end result is that you want but you are conflicted um on how you do it how you go about it how you get there um sow seeds for yourself darling see which ones grow the best but if you're conflicted um, within yourself then you can't expect anybody else to understand where the fuck you're coming from Sagittarius so don't just take the time to think to yourself perhaps I need to learn to disagree with myself at the moment and just stop thinking about it think about the end goal rather than how you get there and then how you get there just might happen naturally because right at the end of the reading what the fuck is happening next? You've got the Ace of Wands. You know about this, Sag. This is fire sign. This is the burning desires. This is the start of the burning desire. This is drawing down energy from the sun to plump those cherries up, ready for the eating. This is around projects and plans. This is around a whole new beginning of a desire. Sorry, darlings. Did I? I did. I'm sorry. I just knocked everything flying in my haste to get that last bit out. So, my darling Sages, right at the bottom of the deck, male or female, you have the King of Wands. This is fire. This is you standing in your power. Been it, seen it and done it. And now you're kind of sitting back going, yep, I made magic. I made magic, I've sorted all this shit out, I know where I'm going, I know where I've been, and I'm sitting here quite comfortable, thank you very much. The King of Wands is passion and desire, and that's what I'm getting that they are holding for you. Is It's not that it's not there, it's not that you're not seeing it, it's just that they are saying, 
let us hold this for you for now just for now so my lovely sages let's ask the angels and the ancestors oh wow um do you know what just just a second because you've got the king of fire which is you then right behind you you've got the celebration card with the three of chalices and then you've got the wheel of fortune or the wheel of the year which is a shift in you and they're asking you to use your intuition in all aspects of this reading Sagittarius wow so darlings we're going to ask the angels and the ancestors for some cards 21st to the 26th of September for Sagittarius and you got half the deck really and there was me thinking oh my god this is a short reading stargazer set your sights higher warrior be fearless and stand strong high priestess harness mystic power peacekeeper let go of the need to be right trader exchange energy to create abundance the sun enjoy success and happiness autumn release the old and rest Sholin master be graceful in movement and action you have the lord and he says take charge with authority you have the wise one grow within the current situation you have the shapeshifter transform and unveil your gifts and you have the air guardian and this says shift your perception Sagittarius darlings that is your reading for the 21st through to the 26th please be safe where you are and I will catch up with you later bye for now